Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to this brand new Android wallpaper app tutorial series and today in this video I will show you that how to create a adapter for the grid view and load the all images from the drawbar folder into the grid view. So in the past tutorials we have discussed about creating a image view and also adding a grid view into the layer of an Android app and we also added this image view which is going to show the current wallpaper. Now in this video I will show you that how to create an adapter for this grid view and load images from the drawable folder into this grid view. First off what we have to do is that just go to the main activity and as you can see I have a lot of images which is around 8 images. So it is pretty clear that the image is not going to show inside the android app and instead the app is going to get crashed if I am going to load all these images directly. Because each and every single image for example you can see this thumb one which is a image it is around 100 KB and also the next one which is around almost 100 KB and there are images which is more than 100 KB so probably the app is going to get crashed because of the over usage of RAM because just giving a basic idea that a ideal app will only have a few items which is already packed inside the Android package which is the APK and uh, all other details and every other single images, resources and everything will be dynamically imported into the app from the server. So without being said, I'm just going to remove at least maybe like, yeah, just keeping the four images and removing all other things. Now we are ready to go. Maybe you will be having a question that how can I use more than this much images inside this app? Then definitely the answer is yes, you can use those images. But the problem is that it cannot be directly user. But instead, we will have to get all the images from the server, which can be, as I said, it can be Firebase, which is much more easy. So without being said, let's go and create a adapter for this grid view so in the android development course we already discussed about a adapter and what is the purpose of an adapter for those who people who haven't watched that video then just giving a basic idea a adapter is something that going to connect your uh, array list or the files from the array or some kind of area into the list or uh, it can the list can be list view or a grid view or things like that so without being said let's go and create an adapter for the grid view so the adapter is going to be a subclass for this main activity so what i'm going to do is that i'm simply typing public then class and just giving the name for the adapter as something like my image adapter or the image adapter and finally that's going to extend as a base adapter so extend then base adapter now open the curly braces and you can see we have to just click on this and press the alt enter to implement the methods and we are going to implement this fault method so let's go and press the ok now we have it now what we're going to do is that instantly we are going to add the adapter for the grid view so my grid view then set adapter and that is going to be new then image adapter and in the brackets what we have to do is that we have to add that get application context now what I'm going to do is, this is something tricky, just press the alt enter and create a constructor that is going to create a public method that is image adapter which has the context as the argument and with the name application context. Now I'm just creating a context here, my context, okay. Now what I'm going to do is that just pointing the my context into the argument context that is a application. So my context equal to then application context that's it now the issue has been solved everything is okay so the next thing is that you can see we have the first method which is the get count which returns zero so actually the get count is for this array list image array list which has around uh, four images so this is going to be the position zero then position one two three same as what we have seen inside the list view string array so now what we have to do is that we have to get the position of each of the images from this my image array so using returning my image array dot length okay now the next thing is to yeah we have this method which is the get view which is going to get the view of the grid view so we have to set image views for each of the item from the grid view so first off you have to check if the if the grid view is empty or not so Good view that is view then equal to now that is empty and if it is null then we have to add the images 
so that is image view so before that we have to create a image view about this if statement so that is image view then that is grid image view now we have to initialize the image view so type grid image view then equal to new image view and the context that is my context so the next thing is to again add the grid view grid image view then set layout parameters then new grid view then layout parameters that is going to be height as I want to give it as uh, 512 as the width and 512 as the height so the next thing is to add the modification for the image view so set image scale type there and that is center crop that's it now we are ready with the if part now we have to add the else so the else is going to get called when the view is actually not empty that means there will be an image inside the view and the view is actually the grid view hope you guys remember that now if it is not empty then what we are going to do is then we are going to just allow to the image view so that can be done using the grid view grid image view then that is equal to then image view and which is actually inside the view that is the grid view that's it finally we have to add the resource for the grid view that is the Im grid image view so that is grid image view then set image resource and the resource is nothing but simply our array list so we have to just add the array list that that is my image array and open the brackets which is this square bracket which is simply this thing and it's going inside the inside it it's going to go get the position so let me tell you that we have the get view method which has in the eye and the in eye is going to get the position from each of the item from the grid view and view is the grid view and view group we can ignore that in this case now the position is i so simply add the i and now finally it return nothing but simply no it is it, it's returned the grid view image that is grid image view that's it now we have everything we have added all the things required we added the we created a base adapter for this grid view with the name as image adapter then we pointed the image adapter into the set adapter method and now we have almost every single thing done now what the next thing is that i want to remind you guys something like this thing so as i said the images that are more than the if you have more than just a limited size of images then your app going to get crasher and uh, if your app is getting crashed then you can just go to the log cat and check for the error with your app so in my case i had a, i had tried the app and found that the app is getting crashed due to over usage of rom the solution that i actually found is that just removing most of the images from here and it's gonna fix every single errors and the possible way that we can use more than this number of images is simply by using by uh, making our app a dynamic one that is going to get the images from the server which can be firebase and if you guys are thinking that why i make a tutorial showing that using images from the drawable instead of the dynamic way and that's only because i want to show you guys the basics of how it is going to work with the grid view so hope you guys got the idea okay so in the next video what we are going to do is that we will be adding click listener for each of the image view from the grid view items so when the image from the grid view is selected then it is going to set as a wallpaper of the android device and without being said let's go and try this in a real android device so as you can see we have the android app and as you can see we have four images kept inside the grid view as a image views so hope you guys got the idea and if you like this video then give it a big thumbs up and if you're new to this channel then hit that subscribe button as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next video